Hi there, I'm Laura Burke from GamingTrend.com and I'm here to take a look today at this Street Fighter official street food cookbook by Victoria Rosenthal brought to you by Insight Editions. Let's get cooking. So the author takes on a persona that she is interacting with all of the different characters from the Street Fighter game. In this particular instance, she is interacting with Guile and introducing him to a coffee drink that is named after his signature move, the Sonic Tempest. wanted to try this Japanese milk bread recipe. It lists cardamom amongst the ingredients and I thought it would be a really interesting flavor profile. So I have to tell you, however, never really had good results making my own homemade bread. I don't know why. I followed the instructions. I followed the instructions on everything. However, I don't know if it's the yeast, if it's the flour, if the planets and the moon and the stars haven't aligned for me that day but something always is wrong. So this is my attempt at this, and I probably screwed something up, but this is what we got, right? So this is what I ended up with today. In the recipe, it says to roll it, and so when I rolled it, it's supposed to rise a little bit more in the oven, but this is all that I got. You can see the, the profile is a little bit shorter than what I would have expected. So that's the first loaf, and then the second loaf, rose just a little bit more. And you can see the profile here is just a little bit taller. And it looks a little bit more bread-like, but it looks more like cornbread. So I'm not exactly sure the full loft this is supposed to come out to, but hopefully it tastes much better than I think it. I think it's okay. As I was flipping through, I saw this red bean onigiri recipe, and I've always loved red bean mochi, so I thought this would be a great opportunity to try it. This uses a couple of different components. It uses sushi rice, which does have a recipe in the beginning of this book as well. It also uses a sweetened red bean paste, which I couldn't actually find a pre-done version of that, so I had to make my own. A lot of different places, you'll have to check your local world markets, will have something for you, my particular area did not. So I had to do some research and figure out how to make sweetened red bean paste. Come to find out that the beans that are used inside of a red bean paste are atsuki beans, which we're gonna use a little bit later on in another recipe. So I already was gonna get them. So now we're gonna have a little fun and we're gonna get a little messy. Now that those are chilling in the refrigerator, let's go preheat the grill so we can get our chicken started. So I've been marinating these bad boys for the last 24 hours. It may not look too appealing, but the red peppers and the garlic in here smell absolutely amazing. Let's get them on the grill. Okay, I basted both sides. I'm gonna flip it one more time and then close the lid so we can turn the flame down just a little bit and try to get them cooked all the way through for about 10 minutes. It's time to get these off the grill. They look amazing. All right, so this is our kukuchoma. This is a chicken wing marinade with uh, red bell peppers and some garlic. And let's take a look and see what the inside looks like. 
perfect. Mm, that tastes really good. So the shoryuken is a matcha tea flavor topping to go over vanilla ice cream. So right now I'm just finishing up the last tablespoon. And we're gonna mix this up. Well, thanks again for joining us to take a look at this Street Fighter official street food cookbook. Now, I'm gonna dig in to this show. Oh, you can! Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Come back and join us, and stay safe out there.